Hey, what's going on guys? Rudelanel here, coming back at you with another Python tutorial. Let's fire up idle and let's get to programming. I'm going to create a new script here, save this as uh, file.python. Get our shebang line started. Oh man, I'm doing good. Oh dude, I'm not going to screw up this time! Oh! Oh! I typed in C instead of D. And now I typed in a colon, a semicolon, holy crap! Alright, whatever. Whatever, There's, the time will come when I go flawless. Manane. Look at this. I think I jinxed myself. Alright, whatever. Mother of God! Okay, okay, here we go. Let's get our string variable here, and that's exactly what we're going to be working with today. We're going to be working with strings, as always. This is a string, isn't it? So now what we're going to be talking about today is uh, something called the string, or at least it's a built-in string function that checks whether the entire string is full of alphabetical characters. So all this. Let's check. It, let's take a look at it right now. Though. Let's print out self.string is alpha. And this is means it's going to return a boolean variable, and if alpha means it's if it's full of alphabetical characters. So if it's full of any letters, and that's all. So let's run this. We get false because we have spaces in here. We have this exclamation point. We have this quotation mark. We have this uh, we have this question mark. So if we just filled this with the word string, it'll run true because all of them are letters. But if we had a space in there, it gives a problem. If we have an exclamation point, it has a problem. If we have a question mark, problem. If we have a quotation mark, problem. So you get the idea. It's only returning letters. And it could be any letter. It could be a capital or lowercase letter. If we had stro strong, strong, whatever. And that's true, because these are still capital letters. So uh, let's take a look at a new module today, though. It's going to import string. And string is full of, if we go into our interactive shell here, we can check it out with the autocomplete feature. String is full of all these interesting things that we can use. And some of them are still things that we would be able to do with just a regular built-in string, but this module gives us some extra content that we can work with. Like, remember in a video... Uh, a, few, a, few seri a few videos back, we had been grabbing the ASCII letters, like uppercase and lowercase letters. We can do this with all this function right here, string.ASCII letters. And that makes things very easy for us. We don't have to go through that uh, that char loop like we were doing earlier. But I just wanted to show you guys that's how you could do it. And now that we have an easier way, we can get the lowercase letters and the uppercase letters, and they're all in the uh, built-in ASCII table. We have nothing to worry about. So let's let's try that. Let's try and rebuild this function all on our own, though. Let's rebuild the is alpha num uh, function. So let's define something new. I'm going to call mine is alphabetical. Have to pass in the self keyword as always, and then we need the string to look through. And now we don't have to be counting this time because we just want to get each character inside the string. So for uh, character in string to look through. We're going to want to test if, we're going to have a conditional statement here, if the character is in the uh, ASCII letters, remember we have to use our string dot selector here because we're using something from this top module up here, import string. If the character is in there, then we don't have to worry about it. That's a good thing. So what we should do is throw in a not. So if the character is not in that ASCII string letters, and we're going to uh, have to. We're going to have a problem here. We're going to return false because it's not. But if we get, if we break out of that for loop, and once we're done processing, if we haven't had any problems, we can just go ahead and return true. So let's take a look at the uh, at the ASCII string letters, though. So if we type in string, we can use our dot selector ASCII letters. We have a string that's full of lowercase letters and the capital letters. So it's going to return any letter or anything that's in the alphabet. So if the character is not in that, if it's a quote, if it's a if it's a space, if it's a quotation mark, if it's an exclamation mark, that sort of thing, it's going to throw us a problem. But if it is, if it, everything is okay and we go through the string without any problems, then just say, yeah, that's fine. This string is completely alphabetical. So let's try it now. Let's print out our string self dot is alphabetical. So this is the new function that we just created. We can pass in self.string. We run this, we get true and true because these are all, all these characters in this string are part of the ASCII string letters. Uh, so let's try it again. 
this is a string. And this will give us a problem, obviously, because we have these spaces in here, but if we got rid of those, it's it runs perfectly fine. So, there you go, guys. That keeps it easy for you. You're able to test um, whether or not there are alphabetical characters in here, and we can do a lot more with this. Because the string module gives us access to so much more, if we use our autocomplete feature, we can check it out. We can even look at digits. And that's what we're going to be using in the next tutorial. We're going to be using the same idea and testing whether or not we find any digits inside the string. So, let's see what else we can do with string, though. First of all, I'm going to give you a little run-through through here. You can check out all the cool things you can do. And, of course, you can type in help and then pass in that object. <clears throat> and now you have all these interesting things. You have some variables that you can check out, including white space, uppercase letters, ASCII uppercase letters, and that sort of thing. But the difference between ASCII uppercase and ASCII lowercase, and then lowercase and uppercase on here. Uppercase and lowercase, these ones that aren't preceded by that ASCII name, are things that are local to your machine or your computer. So if you happen to have changed settings where these, where some other characters are considered to be alphabetical characters, you may have a problem. So for in this scenario, you will want to test whether these are ASCII lowercase or ASCII uppercase, because that is the standard. So in our case, we have letters, which is a combination of all of them, and we have, uh, well, that's ASCII letters, that's a combination of all of them, and then we have letters, which is a combination of all of them, but only the ones that you've set on your computer that uh, is local to your machine. So you never know what a person might have changed on their machine, so if you're doing processing like this, you might want to test for ASCII letters rather than the local version. But, uh, but that's all. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you are able to, uh, Go a little bit more in-depth with these string functions, check out the string module, see what else you can do, see what functions are not recommended that you use, some that are recommended that you use, and that sort of thing. But uh, anyway, I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye!